Hi guys, welcome back. Today's tutorial is gonna be using the new Too Faced Tutti Frutti Sparkling Pineapple Palette. This one right here has some very cute shades and I used only this palette on the eyes today. I do have a look using the Berry Palette. If you're interested in that one, I did a whole Tutti Frutti collection uh, try on video and it is linked up there if you want to check that one out but today i'm going to be using this one only so if you're interested in seeing the way that i got this look go ahead and keep watching okay so i have the Too faced concealer as my primer and i am not going to set it the shade that i'm going to use first is the dark brown one and i'm going to apply this shade on the transition area so of course you don't have to apply it this way you can add the light transition shade first um some people have told me that they don't like you know applying the dark shade here which is totally fine you can do whatever you feel comfortable doing but this is what i like to do i feel like the colors show up really nicely and it just has been working with me so i'm first applying this shade now i'm gonna go in with the light brown shade and blend this out i'm gonna take a little bit of the dark one and i'm gonna start blending up towards the light brown very very lightly back and forth and it is slowly transitioning into the light brown. And then I'm going to go back into the light brown and blend out the edge. So now I'm going to do a cut crease and I'm going to do it halfway towards the outside of my eye. The next shade that I'm going to take is the shimmery champagne looking shade. And this one is more of a foiled eyeshadow rather than a regular powdery shimmer shade see how some of it is just a little chunky but once you blend it out it does flatten out but these shades the shimmer shades remind me of the anastasia shimmer eyeshadows they're just very creamy and then right here in the center i'm gonna apply the green shade this one is like a brown green look at how pretty this is it's like it looks like a little bit like a light brown but when the light hits it it looks more like a green it is so pretty i think i've seen a, shim a similar shade like this um, in a wet and wild palette I'm sure but I don't have that palette but I know I've seen it here on YouTube so look at how pretty that green is I'm gonna apply this all the way towards the outside and a little bit towards the inner part of the cut crease and to make sure that I don't have like this line separating the two shimmer shades I'm just gonna blend those two together now I'm gonna go back into the dark brown and apply this on the outer corner and blend it into the green shade and then blend it towards the outside just like smoke it out towards the outside there we go and then i'm going to take the green one more time and just apply it right on top of the brown and this really helps it look like it's like fading into like transitioning from one shade to another and then one more time a little bit of the brown all right so there is the top and next i'm going to apply my eyeliner and i'm going to use my favorite urban decay pencil this one is the 24 7 waterline pencil and I just applied this one on the waterline off camera. And I'm gonna use the NYX Matte Liquid Liner on the top. And I'm gonna keep the tape on just because I feel like it keeps it very clean and it's a little easier to do the pointy end or just the wing part. It just looks really nice with the tape on. So while I, I can't even say that. So while I let that dry right here on the outer corner like the, the wing part, I'm gonna apply a little bit of the shimmery pink shade and I'm going to apply it right here on the inner corner. So now I'm going to take off the tape. So now I'm just going to take my brush again and I'm just going to go over this right here just to make sure that everything is blended. So I'm going to take the light brown shade first and with the flat eyeshadow brush I'm just going to apply this light brown shade on the lower lash line. I'm going to go all the way into the inner corner and all the way to the out outer corner into the dark brown and apply it a little closer to the lash line. I'm gonna go back into the light brown but I'm using a fluffy brush and I'm just gonna go back and forth down here to blend it out. Okay so now I'm gonna go back to the waterline eyeliner and I'm gonna apply a little bit more towards the eyelashes because I really want to intensify it. I want to make it look just a little bit darker and smoke it out on the waterline on the lower lash line I mean. So I'm going to apply this right here, very close to the waterline, very close to the eyelashes. It does look a little messy, but that's fine because I'm going to blend it out with this flat eyeshadow brush. 
I'm gonna go back into the dark brown and go over the black. So I think that's pretty good. That looks pretty even to the other side. So now I'm just gonna apply the inner corner shade and I'm gonna apply the foiled gold eyeshadow. So now for the eyelashes, I'm gonna apply the primer and this one is the CoverGirl Lash Blast Primer. And it is white, so it's gonna look a little weird at first. I'll apply that on top and on the bottom. For mascara, I'm using the Tarte Tardis Mascara. I forgot to curl this eye, so I'm just gonna do it right now. Yes, I finally, finally have an eyelash curler. I know I didn't have one for months. I would say I didn't have one for like almost a year. Now for the face, I'm gonna apply the Becca Skin Love Serum. So next, I'm gonna apply the Too Faced Hangover RX, another very, very moisturizing product. If you have dry skin, I think you would like this combination. It is just a really nice skin prep for your makeup. And today, I'm going to use the Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Skin. And I'm going to try it today with the brush. I've already tried this with the Beauty Blender. And then I'm going to have a review on my channel soon. Once I try it out for a little bit. So I'm just going to apply this all over my face. And with the Beauty Blender, it applied really nicely. So I'm just hoping that it looks good with the brush. This one is a full coverage foundation and you can really tell and it is matte but it's not like a dry matte or like a heavy matte. It feels really good. I just I feel I feel like it looks heavy but it's not. It just covers up pretty much everything. That is the foundation. Now for concealer I'm going to use this one first. This one is the Boeing by Benefit and I'm going to apply this on the under eye area. I'm just going to apply a little bit to do a little bit of color correcting on the under eye area. And then for concealer, I'm going to apply the Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion. So to set my concealer as well as the rest of my face, I'm going to use a new product. This one is the Milk Makeup in the color Translucent Light. And I'm going to use it for the very first time right now. I'm going to take my big powder brush and set the rest of my face. So the product so far looks pretty good. It actually makes my face look pretty smooth. So that is the powder. I will have a video on this. I'm going to have a review on this once I try it out. Again, another product that I am trying out so that way I can have a review for you guys. And then I'm going to do a little bit of contouring with the Lorac Pro Palette. I'm just going to use the light contour shade in here. I think I applied a lot. I haven't done contouring in a while. I feel like I've just been using bronzers, which is really nice. I like it too. But today I felt like contouring a little bit. And this is one of my favorite products for that. Using the loose powder to clean up a little bit on the sides. And I'm going to use a bronzer. So I'm going to use two products from Too Faced the same, from the same line, the Tutti Frutti line. This one is the bronzer, and this one is called Pineapple Sun. I really like this bronzer. I have been falling in love with bronzers lately, and I keep finding some really good ones. I don't know if it's good luck, or they're just making really good ones lately, but now I have a few favorites. Like, you guys saw my bronzer video. Well, I just added this one to it. So next, I'm gonna use this one. This one is the blush, and I'm actually gonna use the blush on this side. And then I'm going to use this one over here as a highlight. This one's a very pretty peachy shade. It's like not too much, but very glowy at the same time. So it looks really nice. And then I'm going to use this shade over here for highlighter. And this one, I think it's supposed to be like a blush topper. Or I don't know, but I'm just going to apply this. Oh my god, look at how pretty that looks. So nice. I really like this one as a highlight. And it doesn't say that it's a highlight. This one just says blush duo but it works beautifully for a highlighter it's just very glowy but with the peachy tone it's not pink it's not just champagne it just gives you a little bit of that peach tone and i really like it so i'm also gonna apply it i'm trying to figure out where but i'm actually gonna use a smaller brush because then i get like highlighter everywhere i'm gonna use that same highlighter and apply it on the bridge of my nose and on my cupid's bow and I'm actually going to go over the sides of my nose with the bronzer brush. I'm not applying any bronzer. I'm just using whatever product is on it. And then for the lips, I'm going to use Aesthetic by Dose of Color and I Love Sarai. This one's a very warm brown.
So that is pretty much it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and liked the way that it turned out. I also am very happy with my new eyelash curler. I haven't had one for like six months. So I've been liking applying this one, applying primer, and then applying the mascara, like a few coats of it. And I've just been happy like that because sometimes falsies by the middle of the day, I'm like, okay, they're poking my eyes or they're lifting or things like that. And I'm pretty comfortable like this. If you have any other colors that you would like for me to use or any other palettes that you've seen on my channel that you would like for me to do a look on, I would love to know what palette and what shades to use that would be very helpful to do my next tutorial and yeah guys i hope you enjoyed it i will see y'all in my next video bye